there, my name is Brianna Mikarevich with the Riso Marketing Department and Sales Training. I'm here today to share with you a special event that not unlike a solar eclipse, only comes around about once every four years. And that is the product launch of a new series. Today, we are launching our brand new FT series. Over the next half hour, we're gonna spend some time showing you what the FT series is going to bring to the market, how it fits into our product lineup, what it may or may not be replacing in our product lineup, and best of all, what it's going to offer you for you to bring to your customers. So with no further ado, let's take a look at how the Riso Inkjet series is gonna look going forward. Officially introducing the Riso FT series. I want to start off by first introducing each of the individual models which make up the series as a whole. Starting with the FT5430, which comes in at a whopping 140 pages per minute. Followed by the FT5231, which offers speeds of 120 pages per minute. However, it does not have the additional paper trays underneath. However, its sister, the FT5230, also offers speeds of 120 pages per minute and does include the additional paper capacity of those two feed trays underneath. The FT5000 brings to the market a new and improved 108 pages per minute. And launching for the first time ever in Riso North America, Introducing the FT1430, which also comes in at an exciting 8,400 impressions per an hour, which is 140 pages per minute for those of you that are keeping track. Now, let's take a look at how the FT will complete the Riso product lineup going forward. For our higher production environments, we offer our Valsys device, also known as the T2100 which, thanks to its dual engine technology, offers speeds of 320 impressions per minute. As it's pictured here, the size and length of it will measure no greater than 16 feet from end to end, which is approximately half the size of other devices that you will see on the market, giving similar speeds. For our lighter production environments or high volume implants, our GD series offers speeds of 160 pages per minute or 130 pages per minute. It can also have accessories such as our envelope wrapping finisher, multifunction finisher, or high capacity feeder and stacker pictured here. With the accessories added on, the GD series will never measure larger than eight feet from end to end. And as you were just formally introduced, our FT series offers speeds from 108 pages per minute all the way to 140 pages per minute. This device can have accessories such as a multifunction finisher, various stacking trays, and a new additional sheet feeder added onto it. And with the accessories included, will never measure larger than seven and a half feet from end to end. This concludes our Inkjet product lineup for Riso Ink. The FT series is replacing our FW series. Let's take a look at how the FT is replacing the FW. Our FW series previously ranged from 90 up to 120 pages per minute and offered three different models. The FT, with the inclusion of the 5430, offers 140 pages per minute, which is a new, higher speed being offered. The FT5230 and 5231 offer the same 120 page per minute 
that the FW5230 and 5231 also offered. The FT5000 now offers a higher speed of 108 pages per minute, replacing the FW5000, which previously ran at 90 pages per minute. If we take a look at the Riso inkjet product lineup, you can see here everything in blue that the FT replaces over the FW, which includes two 140 page per minute devices, including one black only model and an improved 90 page per minute model now running at 108 pages per minute. Now let's take a look at the additional improvements that the FT offers over the FW series. Starting with the addition of a full color model of 140 pages per minute, as well as a black only model, which provides 140 page per minute speeds as well, this gives an improved productivity over the FW. Thanks to a denser black, as well as a better color reproduction of cyan, the FT also offers an enhanced image quality. With the addition of a new sheet feeder accessory, the paper capacity of the FT can now be 4,000 sheets over the previous max capacity of 2,000 sheets that the FW offered. The FT also has a new multifunction finisher, which offers improved productivity, allowing it to keep up with the new and improved speeds that the FT offers, an addition of a staple cut feature and an increased booklet capacity. Where the FW previously offered 15 sheets max, the FT now will be able to do 20 sheets max for booklet making. And the FT's improved ink yields, which will positively impact our cost per copy. To dig deeper into these improvements, as well as how the FT will fit into not only the Riso product lineup, but bring these features to the inkjet market, I'm going to sit down with our Executive Director of Sales, Andre Durbano. Welcome back. I'm sitting here with the Executive Director of Sales at Riso Inc., Andre Durbano. Andre, thank you so much for taking the time to join us to talk to us about the FT. And let's be honest, this is a pretty exciting time here at Riso. It is. It's good to be here. And you're right. It is an exciting time. It is a unique time in that uh, Riso is launching a whole new set of devices. Mm -hmm. And typically, when Riso launches new printers, they come in groups of twos, sometimes three, as was the case with the FW series. We are launching a whopping five new units with the FT series. Well, that in itself is impressive, but Riso has always been synonymous with speed. Can you talk to us, how does the FT stack up when it comes to speed? The FT uh, continues the tradition of speed for Riso, as you mentioned. Uh, not only do we maintain the 120 pages per minute, that was the FW series, okay. but we have grown the speed up to 140 pages per minute with the introduction of the FT5430. Okay. So that's uh, that's unique. I mean, that's a, that's an increase of almost 20% in speed. So it's it's quite exciting. <laughs> uh, well, you bring up an interesting point because at 140 pages per minute, our GD series includes the 7330, mm. which runs at 130 pages per minute. So now that we're going to have the FT, do you in fact still need the 7330 as a part of our lineup? The GD7330 is part of the GD series, and that is a series of, of products that is designed on a production platform. Okay. And the 7330 being a GD is something you can dress up and take to the prom. I'm going to need you to clarify a little more. How exactly are you dressing her up and taking her to the prom? The GD7330 can have a 4,000 sheet paper deck added okay. to it. We can add a stacker. On the back end, it works with the Fiery okay. device. So there's multiple options that fit with the GD, the GD7330 in particular, uh, that do not work with the FT series. Okay, well that makes sense. Now, speaking of prom, and that brings me back to school, the FW, which the FT is replacing, mm -hmm. was a school fan favorite. So is the FT still gonna fit that market? The FW5000 was certainly a fan favorite with schools and the FT5000 replaces uh, the FW and it is certainly going to continue to be a fan favorite. What was a device that printed at a speed of 90 pages per minute 
that was the FW5000. Yep. The FT5000 actually prints at a speed of 108 pages per minute. So speed has been consistently improved and increased throughout the entire FT series. And for a teacher that only has a few minutes, to print their job in between breaks, and you would know, because your mom is a teacher. Yes. Um, that, that's pretty important. It certainly is. I mean, they, they have an average of six minutes between classes, so any time they can get back is certainly important to them. Well, to that end, um, 120 or 108 pages per minute is, uh, is the equivalent of some two copies per second. So you can see how, for any teacher, that is a big advantage. Uh, maybe we should find a math teacher and she can work out some statistics for us on how the FT is mm -hmm. improving over the FW for us. Next school installation we do, we'll do just that. That would be great. In fact, I look forward to maybe doing a whole segment or an ink drops episode on just that. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to circle back because one of the five models that the FT is, is a black only model, which is also something unique and different that RISO is offering, at least in the United States and Canada. Can you talk to us about that and and why we're having that type of model because to my knowledge Riso is all about color. You're right. Riso has been over the years synonymous with color and for the first time globally not just in North America but globally we are launching the FT1430. It is a black only unit mm -hmm. which in itself uh, has a series a whole array of advantages. Number one that black ink is a 600 dpi ink Okay. So it is a, a more dense ink than uh, the previous series. The unit itself functions at a speed of 140 pages per minute. Mm -hmm. That's 8,400 impressions per hour. Uh, so for any print shop that is looking to continue to print in black and white, um, this is a technology that will assist in that endeavor. Um, for those print shops that enjoy working with output where the moisture has not been pulled out of the paper, this is uh, Riso inkjet output which is cold, flat and dry. So if you're in the business of either folding or inserting that output into envelopes, uh, the output off of the FT1430 in a print environment will work spectacularly well with that type of finishing equipment. Well, that certainly uh, identifies a great spot for the FT1430. Uh, now, help me understand, is it just the black inks that were improved or were there improvements made to the other colors for the full color models, of mm -hmm. course? So on the CMYK spectrum, what really changes with the FT series is the cyan um, ink is uh, a different ink. It's a new ink from Riso. Not only does it have an immensely expanded ink yield, but the ink itself is different. It opens up a, a much wider array of colors and the color gamut for Riso. So for any uh, graphic designer that is in the business of uh, uh, printing in newsletters or, or anything that involves skin tone or maybe a certain amount of uh, color matching, this new cyan ink on the FT series will uh, will be a wonderful addition, um, again, for anybody who's doing that type of work. So you touched on something when you were answering that, which by the way, thank you for such a great answer. I now understand the improvement of cyan much better than I did a few seconds ago. Um, you mentioned ink yields being mm. improved. Can you talk to us about that? Always a fun subject. It's ink yield, cost per copy. So We need that math teacher back they, again. Yes, we, we kind of do, right. <laughs> Um, always in demand from salespeople, our dealer community, our reseller community, um, and customers as well. Uh, the, the better the ink yield, lo the lower the cost per copy, and our ink yields on the FT series are um, greatly improved, anywhere from 15 to 35 percent improvement on ink yield, depending on the actual color we're talking about. There's certainly an improvement on the black, uh, depending on the model. Uh, the 1430, for example, is an increase in ink yield of about 20%. So again, that is going to play a big role in creating a cost per copy, which is appealing to many end users. Well, uh, maybe I don't need the math teacher because you just uh, okay. throw out a whole bunch of percentages that make a lot of sense and they definitely show how the FT also adds that value as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so. 
Also, ink yields aren't the only thing that have grown or increased with the FT, but I believe paper capacity is now able to be increased as well. Right, so there is a new addition to the FT series. This would be a 2000 sheet paper deck. Um, the FW had nothing on that end, <laughs> right? So if you wanted additional paper, you would have to move up to the GD series for a 4,000 sheet paper deck. And that's a substantial increase in, in investment. The FT series has with it this 2,000 sheet paper deck, which fits quite nicely underneath the main resale tray which in itself holds 1,000 sheets so when you talk about the two paper trays 500 each mm -hmm. that's a thousand the the, uh, the existing tray is a thousand so that's two plus the additional paper deck 2,000 sheets letter size paper yep that's 4,000 sheets of paper on the FT series uh, again it was something that our, our customers wanted our dealer community wanted um, and so there you have it in addition the FT series allows for, uh, you know, a form of continuous feed. I need to elaborate a little more on what you mean by that. So by continuous feed, I'm talking about being able to uh, fill a tray of paper while the unit continues to operate using paper coming in from another area. So no downtime if to reload paper. Correct. No downtime as you replenish the paper, the unit continues to print, which is a, a feature unique to the FT series. That is, uh, that's an improvement in variety of markets that I'm sure many will appreciate. Mm -hmm. Well, it's always great to hear that when customers and dealer communities ask, Riso delivers. Uh, now, I believe that the multifunction finisher, which is displayed right here with us, has also been improved for the FT as well. It is. This is a brand new multifunction finisher, whereas the FC ser FW series had a finisher that, um, you know, uh, had its challenges in keeping up with the speed of the FW. This one, this new finisher, uh, rolls quite nicely with the 140 pages per minute. Wow, so it's not only able to better keep up with the speed that the FW offered, but the faster speeds as well. The faster speed of the FT series, correct. And uh, in addition to that, it will staple a wider, uh, a larger deck of paper. The FW was limited to 15 sheets of paper. Uh, we can saddle stitch a booklet here up to 20 sheets of paper. And on 1117, that'll create a booklet of uh, some 80, 80 pages, which wow. is quite the booklet. That is quite the booklet. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, there's also something about the staples looking a little more professional as well? Correct. The staples are different in that this is no longer a cartridge of staples. This is a stitching wire that we oh. still have moved to. I, I think I have I have part of it surprise, right here. <laughs> so talk to me, this is the stitching wire that you were just referring to? Correct. So based on the thickness of paper that is being stapled, the, um, the reso will uh, saddle stitch the correct length of the staple that is being applied to the paper and that exact length will give it a nice crisp fit to uh, the document. When you look at the booklet down the middle of the page at the, uh, in the center area, it'll be a, a very nice clean cut staple. Well, excellent. Andre, you've covered an awful lot about the FT for us. You've shared a lot of insight and product positioning. Is there any closing statements or overall thoughts about the FT and how it fits into Risa's product lineup or the inkjet market as a whole you want to share with us? The, as, as we mentioned, the FT brings to us five models. Mm -hmm. So four CMYK units, one black and white device, um, we, we continue with the FT5000, but we've added, you know, that FT5430 on the very high end. So that in itself is a wide array of inkjet devices designed for some light production. Okay. It is designed certainly for the education market. It is designed for the nonprofits that, um, that are near and dear to Riso's heart, whether it is uh, a government office, um, a religious institution that over the years have supported Riso products and to this day just adore their Riso technology in the offices. But when you take those five and you add the current GD9630 and GD7330, and of course now the flagship uh, Valisys unit, the 320 page per minute device, that is eight Riso cut sheet 
inkjet devices for a segment of the print industry, the inkjet market, that is growing in leaps and bounds that we can see from all manufacturers Absolutely. in the industry. And so this is um, a huge plus for Riso and should certainly assist those salespeople uh, that we love that are down the street meeting with our customers every day to now have a selection of uh, eight units to choose from when proposing Riso to their customers. Well, Andre, I greatly appreciate, as I'm sure all our viewers do, uh, the opportunity to speak with you and get your thoughts on the FT and how it fits Pleasure. into the market and all of its features. I think there's no better way to kick this off next into the launch for the North American market of the product video featuring our FT series. Thanks so much.